All right, so uh, yesterday, our tank, up until this point in the story, was uh, a paladin named Sila. She was also an alcoholic and a jerk. And when I became uh, the Lord of the Undead, she she said, "I'm you, you disgust me, I'm out. And she left. And I was like, oh crap, I don't have a tank. So today, I, I hired a mercenary. When you hire a mercenary, it's like hiring a custom hero. You get to design them from level one. And meet Eve. She is an Azamar, and she is basically a better Sela. <laughs> Look at that shield, size of a muckin' door. So this is Eve. She has joined the party. And so we have got the same two. We've got the whole crew. But uh, I kind of regret tempting Arushale the demon to be on the side of good. Because, uh, yeah, now I'm bad. So, yeah, it's like, hey, hey you should be good. She's like, okay. Then I'm like, a psych. So, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know what's going on there. All right, uh, I need to upgrade this. Let's see. So we need to go outside. And I read the ziggurat too. The splash art looks so much better compared to the end game. Uh, so the splash art, you can download pictures from the in the worldwide webs. So for example, do any of you recognize my portrait? Let me let me move my massive hat. Yeah, I mean you should see that the the the, the potion on on the belt. If nothing else, you should see the potion. Yeah, yeah, I liked the Dark Souls picture. I mean, honestly, if I just could get a helmet that covers my guy's head, it would, uh... My, my guy started with very pale skin, and then the more necromantic he got, the whiter his hair got, and the more, like, ashy his skin got. Uh, alright, I owe Dennis for two minutes. Oh, boy. So, yeah. E yeah, so Eve, uh, yeah. I, I, there was a section of portraits with, like, glowing eyes and blonde hair. Hold on, let me take the hat off. So there was a section of portraits with glowing eyes and blonde hair, and I was trying to find something that matched this, and I found that. It's, just, it's like, we're your angel lady. And then, of course, over here, we've got Noxie. <laughs> I used her Twitter picture. <laughs> Made her a two-foot-tall gnome with green hair. She was not happy about that. All right, so brand new character here. There we go. And let's do it. Chosen Undead. Put, uh, yes, Vandroid scene. That is where I got it from Nexus. Whoa! The fort is besieged by an enemy. Well, that's just wonderful. What is all of this? Holy crap. Hold on. Mass teleport. Move the tar target army to a point on the global map that's unoccupied by forces. Pa okay, so I didn't have most of these buttons last time. Power of Gold. All units in the target army gain plus one bonus to attack for every 1,000 finance points in the Crusade Treasury. Uh, amplify Resistance. Mark of Terror. Replenish. Uh, all units in the target army take Mythic damage. Oh wow, that's that's really powerful. Uh, adds units to the target army with a total value of blah, blah, blah. The unit type is chosen randomly from the units that are already present in the army. Oh my god, that's insane. Innervation. Dude, this just, like, makes troops out of nothing. When did Mug get the new tank? I made it offline earlier. Alright, so first off, we have to, uh, start off this thing. Uh, alright, so we get some of that. There's excuse me, the commander... I'm pretty sure we just did that. Okay. Where is the ziggurat? This is the important thing. The ziggurat will be expanded and rebuilt according to the canons of necromancy. The walls made of tombstone will direct the energies of death according to the ritual pattern designed by Zacharias. Um... You know, I wonder... I wonder if I should just skip time until that's done. It's tempting. Uh, financing. A crusade is a costly business. The diplomatic council has to come up with new tricks to preserve... Yeah, sure. Army. Not all undead are bloodthirsty monsters. There are plenty... Uh, yeah, that's fine. Let's do that. Relics. I can't do anything else right now. Okay, report. The Galarian slaves rescued by the commander and Elushinra are infinitely grateful and are ready to get even with the demons with weapons in hand. Uh, you can call me Helper. 
The soldiers are telling stories about a spirit who comes to them in times of need and introduces himself as the helper. His arrival is accompanied by ominous signs such as raining blood or the smell of carrion, but he saves warriors and demands nothing in return. Uh, hunt him down, which gives a trophy. Uh, tell them don't accept its help for more leadership. Accept its help for reduction of losses. Ooh, that's a permanent bonus to the infirmaries. Send a Rushale to find the spirit. General has plus three to power and plus ten energy. Uh, do I actually lose a Rushale during that time? I don't think so. Okay. Having joined forces with Arushale, the cleric soon found the spirit. He told them that he used to be a servant to an evil spellcaster who made him commit heinous deeds. After his master's death, the spirit tried to atone for his sins. The clerics helped him purge himself of all evil, and in gratitude, the helper revealed his magical secrets to them. Neat. Okay. I would love to just skip time to when the ziggurat's done and see if I can become a lich right away. To do that... What? Okay, so essentially what I see here is the queen ruined my town. Awesome. Uh, what is this? Honor guards? Wonderful. Okay, so... Where's my huge godly army? Oh no, queenie, you did not. Oh my god. My godly army is just missing. She ran- oh my gosh, she ruined everything! <sighs> Guillotine guillotine guillot the queen, yeah. Do I even have a general? No, no, no. I have no general. Your generals only need three days for them to return. They have to respawn. What? They're still leveled? So I don't have to start from zero? Where can, where can I see that? I hate the army combat. I liked the army combat, but I, I don't like what's happening right now. Oh, I can't do that without the general there. A an assigned general. Um two days zero hours. You know what? Skip day. Skip day. Okay, I feel so much more comfortable now. <laughs> I was like, I worked so hard on that guy. Okay, and then... Where's the skeletons we just got? They're right there. Alright. Alright, and then... Where's that new thing right here? Call to arms. So we got 515, 599, 60... Why isn't it working? Adds units to the target army with a total value. The unit type is chosen randomly. Why isn't it working? Unavailable. Why? I'm so con I am confusion. Click on the model. Oh wow! You had to click on his shoulder pad. All right, what happened? Okay, I got some of everything. Sick. Okay, so it's just, that that one's f fickle. It's very fickle. All right, where's that army that's messing with me? Um, move the target army to a point in the global map that is unoccupied by enemies. All right, there we go. We will be your Act 5 guides. Oh, I mean, it's weird that my generals were dead when I got there and stuff. Oh, I just realized...
Why did this ranger just shoot my zombies? You're about to lose your freaking jobs. Filthy traitors. Harpoon, obstacle, breath of life. What else? Dude, I haven't played this with the general thing in uh, so long. Actually. Just gonna have him hold position. Ah, uh, she's still doing it. Girl! You are beyond worthless at this time. What did he just cast? I'm not sure. Um. What other spell? He had some other spells that were free. What were they? Boulder. That was it. Drop a Indiana Jones them. There we go. All right, so infirmary saved the stuff. And then we should have gotten some more undead from that. Okay. Yeah, I had a bunch of marksmen. These guys. But I guess we lost him at some point, so I need to start recruiting them back. Alright, is there anything for them to do over here? So there's is Find Queen Galfrey. So I actually need to head over this way. Is there anything for my army to do there? I guess they're just kind of on standby right now. All right, so I'll just start bringing them home, I guess. There's a lot of new paths. I, whoa! Uh, the scouts reported the large human forces on the moon near the trail. Okay, let me tap quick save here. All right, so they can go through there now. Uh-oh, what did we find? The highlighting of that is odd. Oh, she gets an extra attack. She has a lot of morale being surrounded by all those undead. The Molotov on him. Oh, I didn't even see this dude down there hiding behind the uh, the text box. Tricky. She wants to be forgiven. Oh yeah, her crimes earlier. Boulder. Dude, these skeletal marksmen are amazing. Did Kingmaker have this type of combat too? No, it did not. Kingmaker had a whole different... Okay, so the, the thing is, Kingmaker and Wrath of the Righteous are both Dungeons and Dragons style games that had a you know came from a pen and paper module. Kingmaker, you were making a kingdom. There was um, okay, hold on a sec. Let me this screen. Kingmaker had this, where you were you were building up a settlement. So you know, this is an archery range. Um, let's see, supply center. Uh, Citadel, you know, it, you, you did have, you were doing that a lot in Kingmaker. Yeah, in Kingmaker, you, there was a, you know, lose condition if you messed up too much. All right, so I, what I would kind of like to do here now, strengthening diplomatic collections, fantastic. Uh, nine sharpshooters, great. Um, what else do we got? The Fate of Attractive Impulse, uh, you can work on this relic, great. Xanthir's experiments, that was the swarm thing. 
Let's see. Glory to the heroes. Warriors stuck in the middle of nowhere fighting vicious monsters have to remember why they're fighting. Crusader morale increases. All right, so at this point, assuming... Assuming nothing on the map will fail while I'm doing it, I want to just skip time until the ziggurat's done. Like, there's the Hell Knight's outpost thing, the Battlefield of the Dead. I don't know if there's timers on this stuff, though. That's done. I don't know why that's still there. So, I'm, what I'm going to do is, uh, let's see... Um, pre-zig time skip. You can disable the army stuff? Yeah, but I like it. I do like the army stuff. Do we have any Heroes of Might and Magic fans here? It reminds me of that in a, in a pleasant way. Like, it's not the same, but in a pleasant way. Uh, resources ziggurat. You think Battlefield of the Dead might be needed for the ziggurat? Really? Okay, well, I'm not opposed to playing with my main forces here. Um, let's see, where is the Battlefield of the Dead? Uh, I snowballed a lot, so basically all my morale got after lower difficulty, even though normal venturing is no issue. Ooh. All right, so this is my first time getting to use my attempt at a min-maxed war. Uh, so, Sila had three levels in Paladin. This one doesn't. Look at that. Tower Shield Specialist, one level of Scaled I'm Fist. Ready. Um, so we want fight defensively. And... Crane Stance should kick in automatically. Yeah, crane style. Great. Okay, so 45. All right. I don't know if we're going to be fighting here, so I'm just going to buff up as much as possible, and I kind of want to see how high we get her armor. I've also got the quest to get the demon out of this guy. That's going to be a whole deal. Wait. Oh. I'm going a little extra here, but I want to see how how buffed up we can get here. We're going a little over the top for sure. Whoa! What was that? Focus on the goal. Oh wait, that was wolf aspect. That's not what I'm looking for. I was looking for magic fang. My spellbook got messed up. That, okay, same icon, different spell. I was trying to enjoy playing because the army stuff, now we're gonna have fun. Hey, if you don't like it and it's uh, you're able to turn it off, that's fine. There was uh, the whole, like, constructing a kingdom, the kingdom management and Kingmaker. Parts of that you could disable as well. Oh, wait, I can try this now. Winds of Vengeance. Oh, wow, there's no... Well, okay, he's faster. This is supposed to let you basically fly. So, like, including to space. <laughs> no animation, yeah. Should it should have a lot of defensive properties, though. Ready for anything. Alright, strength. Con. Dex. Wisdom. Life bubble. Okay. Uh, delay poison. Okay, she's fine. Rage her out. Shrink the tank so that her armor class is higher. Protection from arrows. See invisibility. Uh, jack up the animals. Heroism on the damage dealers. Greater heroism on the damage dealers. Uh, 
Anything else? Oh, she can have, uh, that. Oh, I don't fully understand if, uh, so we've got mass invisibility now. Oh my god, I know what just happened. Wow. Oh, that could be abused so easily. Alright, so, do you see this yellow aura around us? That's a ring on Muckluck. And when an ally goes downstate in that aura, it summons a giant spider into the fight. For some reason, the game thinks us going invisible is downstate. So by casting Mass Invis, it summons a giant spider for every ally that went invisible? I am Read the ring. Am I am I interpreting it wrong? If one of the party members falls unconscious, a giant spider is summoned. Yeah, it's it's bugging. It's not, it's only supposed to kick in if someone goes unconscious. That is crazy. Uh okay, well, I I I'm not going to intentionally abuse that, but it might happen by accident at some point. Rules are made to be broken. All right, anything else? Or are we good? I could do Death Ward and Spell Resistance. I'll, I'll put them on the tank. Because I could do them on, like, every single member of the party, but that would add, like, another couple of minutes. I don't want to do that. And we'll move here. All right, so right now her AC is at 55. Not in combat. Stake them, burn the bloodsuckers, rip out their cold, rotten hearts. This nefarious cult has ensnared the land in its venomous tentacles. We must sever the tentacles and drive the cult from this place. We must put an end to the madness of the Whispering Way. Commander, you're here at last. I have discovered proof of this vile creature's betrayal. Help me put an end to his treachery. The vampire gives you a curt nod. Happy to see you again, Commander. Welcome back. I've had to deal with some parasites that have infested your home during your absence, and I could use a little help. You know what? Our guy has already gotten uh, pretty jaded around the edges. Who gave you the right to waste the strength of my warriors in this useless feud? She glares at you with barely suppressed fury. I thought we were friends, but it does not look like you value our friendship. Such neglect is dangerous. Sooner or later, you will need the help of the Whispering Way, and on that day, we will remember all the boons and slights we have received from you. Commander, I apologize, but I had to fight this monster. I used the resources that were at my disposal. I believe my actions were justified. She is irredeemably evil, and I could not allow her wickedness to continue. Why are you fighting? Commander, a heinous crime has been committed. The vile leech Septimus took advantage of your absence and stage a mutiny. He gathered discontented necromancers and your unhappy undead servants under his wing. They are weak-willed cowards and fools, but there are many of them, and together they pose a significant threat. I have no doubt the despicable bloodsucker has been plotting your demise from the very beginning. He came up with some pretense to attack me and my minions because we've always been loyal to you. Nonsense. If anyone has been trying to stage a coup, it is this demented hag. She began scheming the day you left Dresden, trying to convince your servants to follow the banner of the Whispering Way. She wanted to assassinate Queen Galfrey and start a rebellion. I couldn't sit back and watch her poison seep into everything you have built. I sprang into action, and I'm not ashamed to admit it. Stop squabbling. I demand you put an end to this meaningless quarrel. With all due respect, Commander, I cannot make peace with this insane fanatic. I've tolerated her presence for too long already. I can no longer in good conscience allow her to continue her wicked ways. She must die. Make peace with this wretched leech? Never! He must pay for his treachery. I feel like they, they don't recognize that I'm in charge here. Alright, so I have to choose one. So the lady who dances around naked in the moonlight and summons undead of her family and then eats like raw deer meat or the vampires who live in a high society and have found a way uh using the dead laws to have uh undead live peacefully with the living i'm gonna go with the the vampire with the dead laws i think also when i made my threat he apologized and she got mad Septimus, I have grown tired of this crazy old hag. Deal with her. 
The old woman looks at you indignantly. Her wrinkled fingers curl up like bird's talons, and she grits her teeth angrily. This is betrayal. We came here to assist you, but you are going to let this dirty leech hunt us down. So much for gratitude. You'll regret this decision. You've made the right decision. Now we have one final task to complete, and it should prove quite simple. This crazed lunatic has finally revealed her true nature. Let us cut off her head and be done with her. This will be quick. This is incredibly easy. I may have overbuffed a bit. That was just like an invisible bulldozer. The old woman wipes blood from her mouth. She straightens slightly, trying to face her death with dignity. Her eyes burn with an insane light. She opens her mouth to speak, but all she can manage is a low, angry growl. How dare you disobey me, Oyanka? Because you are weak, because you are stupid. Weak? I'm looking down at you right now. Because you can't tell your true allies from a coterie of obnoxious fools who keep muttering sweet nonsense about a world where the living and the dead can coexist. You should have punished the leech for insulting me, but you pushed away the hand of friendship offered by the Whispering Way, and so that hand reached for the dagger. <laughs> I will not serve your cult. I will subjugate it and make it serve me instead. She bursts into a fit of maniacal laughter. You! You think you're equal to the Whispering Way, arrogant fool! You don't even realize how pathetic you are! Did you actually think you could defeat me? You think you're invincible? Ha! The assassins of the Whispering Way have cut short the lives of many arrogant rulers who believe themselves to be safe. If things had gone my way, you would have been the one crawling at my feet. Everything you possess would have been mine. Alright, you're, you're really making me feel like I made the right choice here. Let's put an end to this. She grits her teeth and hisses angrily. I see only suffering in your future. You will suffer for eternity. My brothers and sisters will make sure you pay the price for your insolence. My guy just cast Siphon Life on her? That was all her blood flying through the air into my person. I didn't want to do it that way. Ew. Ew. I don't know if she's had her shots. I wanted to just, like, stab her. Not get out of sippy straw. Good lord. Septimus is breathing heavily. Oh my god. The sight of the huge massacre has clearly aroused his bloodlust, and it takes him a moment to regain control of himself. Commander, victory is, out, is yours. Oyanka was a rabid animal. She should have been put down a long time ago. You've done well by ending her life. Oyanka was a disappointment. Can I trust you? You have rejected the offer of friendship from the Whispering Way. Your decision gives me hope that you will become a wise and enlightened ruler and a staunch and benevolent ally to Geb. I'm ready to give my life for you if it helps to make this hope a reality, my gracious lord. He gives you a bow. We're done here. Let's go. You've done a good deed today, and no good deed should go unrewarded. Allow me to present you a small gift. Consider it an official token of appreciation from Geb. I've been observing how your mythical power transforms your undead servants. It changes them, and it gives them a lust for blood, just like vampires. Well, I decided to study this transformation. My studies resulted in a surprising discovery. I found that the behavior of your undead could be changed further. Their hunger for blood could be modified to make them crave magic as well. Your undead can literally swallow spells like chunks of meat. They can't digest them, of course, but they are capable of belching the dangerous spells back at their enemies. In Geb, such servants are called spell eaters, but they can only feast on the magic of their master. Your living dead, on the other hand, can swallow enemy cantrips and spit them right back. New event, creating spell devourers. I will pass on my research logs and the ritual schematics to your magicians. And now, with your permission, my knights shall execute the fanatics who served Alyanka. Then they will round up the undead who were under her sway and deliver them to your officers. Okay, that's kind of neat. Uh, what did we get from her? Uh, amulet of Nat, armor plus four, ring of prop plus four, cloak of resist plus four. Um, that might be better than what some of them have. She's got a plus three cloak. Put newest loot at the top. Upgrade her cloak. And... Scroll up. What happened to uh, what's happened to me today? Blood work done for the first time 41 years. I had a gusher and didn't know. Arm was coated in blood and the tech was flipping out. Oh, nice. Uh, hope, glad Septimus wasn't your tech. You might have gotten thirsty. A gusher. I, you know, you say a gusher, I immediately know what you're describing, but I've never heard it termina- like, you know, 
a ter termed like that before. Uh, let's see. I owe a Dennis for Necrodeath. So. Alright, so that is done. Do we have anything else that is timely? The Hell Knight's Outpost. Visit the Hell Knight's Outpost with Reg Regil. Um, if I'm going to do that, I have to drop off some of the others. Uh, just evade them, that's fine. Dennis the Leech, yes. Alright, let's see if we can go back to skipping through time here. All right, the relic will be augmented. Uh, morale increased. Uh, let's see. Choice. Uh, do work on the relic. Creating spell devourers. Septimus shared the results of his research with the commander. Through the deployment of certain rituals, the hunger of the undead serium can be exacerbated so that the undead will be able to devour spells and hurl them back. Skeletons and zombies gain vampiric touch. All the units 